Far from going into overdrive to recover tax arrears, the government seems to have embarrassingly capitulated to black money hoarders. The government has virtually shrugged off the loss of almost 1.3 lakh crore rupees tax arrears as irretrievable. The lion's share of the irretri irretrievable tax arrears, in fact, belonged to the notorious tax evader Hassan Ali, whose arrears account for 1.1 lakh crore rupees. Meanwhile, a parliamentary committee has come down heavily on the finance ministry for writing off 1.33 lakh crore rupees as non-recoverable direct tax, saying that it owes an explanation on how the situation was allowed to reach irretrievable levels. The committee noted in its draft report that it was alarmed at such a huge amount of tax due to the government, which cannot be collected at all, and noted that the government owes an explanation to the committee. The government, for its part, claims that it has tried its best to recover all the dues from tax evaders such as Hassan Ali, but in many cases, even the net worth of the immovable assets attached by the government do not match up to the total arrears, leading to a sizable portion of it being declared irretrievable. The opposition, for its part, has used the Parliamentary Committee's report to lash out at the government, accusing it of going soft on black money holders and school banks. Well, let me go across to Karthikeya Sharma, who joins us on the phone line. Karthikeya, more embarrassment that the government doesn't need, but is its explanation going to cut ice with the committee? You see, uh, the real uh, issue issue with the government is uh, that uh, these were the four reports. Uh, these were demand for grand reports which are being considered uh, by the uh, Standing Committee on Finance, headed by uh, a very senior leader of Bharti Janta Party, Yashwan Sinha. And the reason why it's not going to cut any ice is because this is something which happened under the domain of the finance ministry. So I believe that the once uh, the session is done with the FDI vote, uh, this matter may find resonance. The only caveat here is uh, Rukpani, or I would say the buffer between the Congress and this issue becoming a controversy is that generally, uh, unless and until the committee finalizes its view and the, the papers are laid on the table of the House, you cannot technically uh, discuss the matter. So that might act as a buffer, uh, but if I rest that, then yes, uh, it's an issue in itself. All right, Kartikeya, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you for joining us for that update.